Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. In last few videos, we learned about uh, containers like PyTorch containers, uh, which include sequential, module list, module dict, and parameter list. In this video, we will learn about parameter dict, which is a uh, last in the list of PyTorch containers. Okay, so let us dive in and see like uh, what is the use case and where we can uh, use it. So let us uh, let us presume a hypothetical situation that you want to train a parallel network for part of the data. Like let us say we have two parallel network and we want to train them uh, for a specific data type. Okay. So let us dive in and implement this use case. So let us uh, create a parameter dict, and that contains two parameters. Okay, so let us say this is our parameter dict and it accepts a dictionary. And let us say we have a left network which is a parameter of this size. And let us also say we have another a network which we call as a right. So here we have two parallel networks and let us initialize it as similar to the earlier one. Okay, so here we have two networks which is left and right and then we have this uh, classifier layer let us say. Okay, so self dot classifier is equal to Okay, so let us say this is hidden layer size cross output size. And so now we have a parallel network. So in one case, we will choose this and multiply with this classifier. In another case, we choose this and multiply with the classifier. Okay, so in a sense, we have uh, two hidden layers and a classifier layer. Okay. So when we choose left and then we add a classifier layer on top of that, that will form one uh, network. And then uh, another time we will choose right layer and then uh, add on top of that classifier that will, uh, add, that will make the second parallel network, okay? So let us implement our forward pass then and see like how we can achieve our goal, okay? So what we will do, we will simply use this f dot linear utility and remove the remaining code. Okay. So what we will do is we will simply say f dot linear input multiplied by. So what we will do, self dot deep n n and let us pass a twice here. Okay. So twice and we simply say okay. We want to run first left or right, whatever we want, twice, and we will get a tensor. And then what we will do, we will simply return f dot linear. So now for classifier, this will be the input. Okay, and self dot classifier would be the weight. Okay, and now let us call our forward method. So let us say x left and we call first output left and we call it twice. So it's x left. And twice is equal to left. So that should be a string. Okay, so we got output left. We print this. And again, we can call it's the same way for the right parallel network. Okay, so let us do that. X right. And let us say we have a random input, and then we can simply say x right. And here now we will select 
the second uh, parameter that is this and then we uh, the classifier la layer is uh, kind of uh, common in both parallel network so that will be there and then we can simply say output right okay, and let us print okay so what we did so we created a network model and then we are kind of dynamically selecting uh, whether we need to use left model plus classifier or right model plus classifier okay so let us run and see for both of the input we will get four cross two as a output okay so let us run and see it so you see we got four cross two and four cross two. Okay, so this is actually a hypothetical uh, scenario, but uh, in case you need to select part of the network for some input and part of the network for another input, or uh, use case, use parameter dict. Okay, so in this video, uh, we completed our uh, uh, PyTorch containers. In the next video, we will start learning about loss functions, like what are the various losses. We can use and then we will learn about uh, optimizers okay and then we will uh, later on implement uh, our uh, full training loop and then later on we will learn about rnn cnn and uh, transformer network okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next